Hello everyone, Assalamu alaikum. It's me Subaita Vinta Hasib. So today I'll talk about our father of the nation, Bangumundu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman's life. So let's start it. Father of the nation, Bangumundu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman's life is an eventful life. From his very boyhood to his martyrdom, he had to face many odds and hindrances. His father wanted him to be a barrister after finishing study in England. But he didn't act as his father wanted. He joined politics to serve the people. During the 23 years of Pakistan's period, he had to remain behind the birds for 11 years. But he never accepted defeat. On the contrary, he united the Bengalis led the struggle for independence and ultimately snatched the victory. The Bengalis, for the first time in history, established an independent state, Bangladesh, on 16 December 1971. Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman's nickname was Khoka. In his childhood, his parents used to call him by that name. He spent his early days in his village Tungipara. Tungipara was a remote village a few doors away from the subdivisional town of Gopal Ganj of the then Faridpur district. Tungipara was a calm, a quiet and also a very beautiful village at the time. Khoka himself was also an integral part of the shallowy paths, rivers, rivulets, nature and residents of the village. He loved everything that the village had. He had a very special kind feeling for the poor. He used to give away his school books to his poor classmates. Sometimes he did not hesitate even to give his umbrella to a poor passerby during rainy days. In winter, he had the habit of giving away his own warm wrapper and shirt to the suffering poor. His father, Sheikh Lufar Rahman, was an officer pretendant of civil court. It was a transferable job. Having been transferred, he came to Gopal Ganj from Madaripur. This time, he got his son Khoka admitted to Gopal Ganj Mission High School. The Mission High School was far away from Tungipara. It wasn't possible for Khoka to attend the school every day by just walking from Tungipara. So he had to stay at Gopal Ganj town with his father. But it was painful for him to leave behind his mother, younger brother and sisters, village friends and the beautiful river in the small village of Tungipara. But he had no other option. Young Koka had a strong love for sports. There was no want of place for sports. Sometimes the young ones used to play in open fields or on a strips of sandy land rising out riverbed. Football was his favorite game. Whenever he could manage a little time in between his hours of study, he would miss no chance to play football with his friends. Oh, that was so exciting and joyful that he moments seemed to be never ending. The real enjoyment was in the excitement of the game. He loved to be with the villagers both during their good days and bad days. He used to come forward with courage to solve any problems of them. Once a dispute arose in between the Hindus and the Muslims of the village over an incident. The trifling matter ultimately took the shape of communal fight. None of the two parties was ready to give in. At the time, Koka, I young Sheikh Mujib, along with his playmates of football, intervened and made the two groups realize the graveness of the situation. Both the groups listened to him and stopped fighting attitudes. Vodan Mass leader Maulana Abdul Hamid Khan Bhashani had great love for Sheikh Mujibur Rahman. Sheikh Mujib also had deep regard for Maulana Bhashani. In the final part of language movement, after 21st February's great incident, these two leaders became roar active and vocal with a view to realize right of the Bengalis. Through their different programs and activities, they added greater to the ongoing movement. On 21st February 1953, the two of them went barefooted to the Shahid Mina to pay their respect to the great murders of the language movement. The Shahid Mina was built in 1956. In 1953, the Shahid Mina was a number of four faced pillars of different sizes. No more today, inshallah, I'll be back in an another video soon. Everyone will be stay safe. Assalamu alaikum.